The design that you see here calls for some crushed dolomite or granitic fill being applied right through the middle of the site. So stepping down into that area, there's some entertaining space moving around here. There's some lighting running around the edge of the raised, packed and compacted area, and there will be a brick edging around it. What I want to do is to indicate the paved area, the, the crushed dolomite area. And if I just select the polyline and say that polyline, let's assume I'm finished. I think I've finished. I'll say, is it closed? Yes. And is it filled? Yes. And we get a rather solid red blob. But can you see all works well to the left of screen, but to the right of screen we're missing. So let's pick the polyline and backtrack again. We'll take off the close and we're now left with the red polyline. So I want to illustrate that by ringing the changes in the polyline command, you can draw in the missing section relatively easily. So to do that, I'll go draw polyline. I will snap to the end of our existing polyline, right click and go immediately into the arc mode and I'll pick endpoint again and we want to come around to this endpoint here. Now the don't be concerned by the fact that that line arc in the polyline doesn't go where we want it but we're in arc mode again and so on another endpoint here this time the polyline does go pretty much where I want it although I'll need some adjustment and finally we have another arc, so the end point of the arc goes there, and I'll hit enter. What I'll do is select this, the arc that we've just drawn. I'll make its line weight to match the other one, so that it will show quite clearly. So there's our arc. Now it's got a number of segments. That's our polyline, rather, with some segments. So... What I'm looking for is our first segment. It's a little hard to see. That's this one here. So I can pick the midpoint and move it across and do that. Now we just have to adjust this second arc. Can you see there's the midpoint of the arc in the polyline? So I'll move that. So I'll just backtrack by saying unselect all for the moment. Can you see now our arc that we've just adjusted two of the curves and we've got this last one to do. So I'll set, select the last segment of that polyline and move it. Move it by clicking on the handle and just moving it like so. Now the original polyline and the new one can now be joined and that should be one single entity now running through the whole area and it does so what I now want to do is to change the color I'll select the color by jumping in and picking true color I'll pick some sort of granitic color fairly light in color and we'll OK it we will apply we'll close it yes and we'll fill it and we'll pick tools and draw order and send it to the back. And there's our granitic paved area running through. The last thing I think I'd do is pick it and say it's going to have a border. It's border color. I like to set it to say 251. That gives it a defined edge. But we no longer need 0.4. We can switch that back to by layer. So there's a quick and easy way of using the arc option and the join option in GCAD Plus to fill an area of compacted granitic fill or dolomite crushed.